Test. Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here, sharing another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about swollen batteries. I know that sounds odd, but all smart devices suffer from this problem. Let me show you an example. I've got a laptop here, and it's got a swollen battery. Let me move some parts around, and you can see it. So you can see the bulge right here. And also, too, if we turn this laptop around, and give me a second here, we'll open it up. You can see the laptop has a screen here, or a bulge here, that has ruined the trackpad. Now, how does this happen? Well, all smart devices have ion lithium batteries in them. And after a period of time, these batteries grow old, they swell, and sometimes they can explode if not treated properly. Now, the challenge is um, with lithium batteries, or I should say the good thing with ion lithium batteries is that ion lith lithium batteries offer the best battery source for most smart devices. They're thin, they have a fairly long life, and under most circumstances, they can stay cool and help our smart devices function. But if not, if, but if not taken proper care of, then they can fail. So we're gonna switch screens here like we always do, and we're gonna take a look and see what you need to do if your phone, tablet, or laptop has a swollen battery. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are. As you can see, all smart devices have ion lithium batteries in them. It does, means that your iPhone, your iPad, uh, your Android tablet, you name it, it's got an ion lithium battery in it. But sometimes what can happen with these devices is that they can swell, swell and they can cause problems. So what should you do? Well, number one, you want to make sure if you do have a swollen battery that you do not charge or use your device. That's right, immediately if you notice that your smart device starts to swell or that it becomes larger than normal, then that means that the battery has started to lose life and that you need to change that battery or actually stop using that device immediately. You need to go ahead and unplug whatever you're doing from your smart device and you need to turn it off. You don't need to use it because it could explode on you. Our next tip is that you need to remove the battery. Now, under normal circumstances, if you've got a Windows laptop, this is a fairly easy thing to do. You can just basically uh, hit the latch, the battery pops out, and you, you can remove the battery. Now, obviously, for most smartphones and Mac products and tablets, removing the battery is not something that you can do. So unfortunately, you would need to call a trained professional like ourselves at Integral to remove that battery out of there, which kind of leads us to step number three. If you can do it, you need to replace the battery on your smart device. Now, like I said, easier said than done. Now, the, the scene that you see here on screen is a Windows laptop. And as you can see, the battery pops out of that laptop fairly simple. Now, the previous screen, and uh, we can go back to that and show you, and let's do that real quick, is a Macintosh laptop, and, as, and there are many screws to remove the battery out. You have to remove the back of the cover of the Mac off and to get to the battery. And actually, I can show you on this MacBook, this is the MacBook, and the screen, or actually the battery, is here which I showed you earlier there we go and it was a tiny tiny lot of tiny screws in order to remove that device so it's not always feasible in that in that capacity but if you have a newer device and the battery has swollen you can definitely replace that battery um, which is our next step and get your device working again. Sometimes on most smartphones and tablets, you can't have that happen. So it's time to take further measures. So let's say you got the battery out. What do you do next? You need to take the battery to an authorized recycling center 
to make sure that it's recycled properly. You don't want to throw these ion lithium batteries in the garbage. They're not good for the environment. And it could cause a fire if um, the battery starts to get hot at your local landfill and it can blow up and cause major damage. So take it to a recycling center near you. Just Google recycling center and make sure that they can take ion lithium batteries. Some quick places or one quick place that you could take your battery to um, would be Best Buy. They take and recycle batteries. Now, what can you do to keep your smartphone, tablet, laptop battery healthy well there's a lot of things that you can do but I'll touch upon the three major things that you can do in order to keep your battery safe first thing you need to do is throw it in the snow now actually you need to try to keep your devices cool um, cool weather is and I don't know why I clicked there there we go we're back to our right screen so <laughs> cool batteries are good hot batteries are bad they can lead to explosion and it can also lead to the wear and tear of the battery on your smart device. So make sure that you keep it in much of room temperature as possible. Next thing that you need to do with your smart device is replace old batteries. So most ion lithium batteries can last uh, up to about five years. So if you have a device that's five years or older, time to replace that ion lithium battery. Also, if your laptop is not holding a charge like it used to or your smartphone or your tablet you need to make sure that you replace that battery because that's a sure sign that that battery is about to die and it could swell on you and finally you want to make sure that you use high quality chargers make sure you get the chargers direct from your manufacturer for your smart device and those cheap chargers that you find on Amazon aren't good for your batteries so that's it as far as tips and tricks as far as what you need to do with your swollen battery. Make sure you take care if your battery swells. Get that thing out of your smart device and get a new one or disp and dispose of it properly. So if you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. would love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you would like to see me cover in future videos. And speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to our videos here at Integral and myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert. Videos that are designed to make sure that you keep on top of all the tech knowledge that you should need, that you need, and to make sure that you get the most out of the technology in your life. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.